Hi folks, it's Andy. I hope you're having a fantastic day. We're here to talk about the Kendo Star 2024 series of Shinai. It's a very quick and informal video. I don't have a script or anything. Okay, so I'm going to be going through every single model that we have ready for this year. We've got some familiar favorites and we've got some brand new models for you as well. We're going to look at the, all of them. I'm going to take you through the features uh, of each different one and hopefully it's going to help you choose which is the best choice for you. So, Without further ado, let's jump straight into it. So we've got quite a lot to go out. As you can see, we've got lots of models. These are all the different models that we offer at Kendo Star. Let's start with the Kenshin. The Kenshin is a juniors. It's a juniors um, all-purpose Shinai. Okay, an all-purpose Shinai is exactly what it says. It's designed to be used for all kinds of occasions. Okay, it's your one-stop Shinai, really. You can use it for your everyday practice. You can use it for your gradings. You can use it for your Shiai whatever you like, okay? It's built to be reliable, trusty, workhorse Shinai, okay? And the Kenshin is specifically that for juniors, all right? So it's, it's, it's uh, available in a range of sizes from size uh, 30 or 3.0, uh, more accurately, uh, <laughs> up to uh, 38 or 3.8. Uh, the reason I say that is, um, in case you didn't know, a little bit of trivia for you, those numbers, uh, three, 0.8 or 3.7, uh, this is a 3.8, it says here, or 3.8, <laughs> um, are the Japanese uh, measurements. It means it's three shaku and eight sun, okay? Uh, and that, that re uh, relates to the length, okay? It only relates to the length, it does not relate to the weight, okay? So you can have uh, a 3.8 or a 38 um, available in several different weights. There's lots of different... Um, available weights actually for a 38. Uh, so, you have to choose the size appropriate for either uh, the age or the height um, or the sex of the child uh, that this is for. Okay, from size 37, uh, these are available in boys and girls models uh, and they're usually for uh, the regulations as, as, as for a Japanese uh, junior high school age, which is uh, around uh, 12 to 15, uh, and then high school age is age 15 to uh, 17, uh, and that would be a 38, okay? Uh, so you have to choose the right one. There's some more details on the website about it, but that is the Kenshin all-purpose model. Now, sticking with the all-purpose theme, we have two, well, we have three, actually, uh, all-purpose models, but I'll get to another one later. Um, we have Goriki. Goriki is a, a, a very popular model of ours. This is our sort of entry-level um, all-purpose practice shinai. It's great for your everyday practice, great for you to hammer around the dojo. Uh, it's got a sort of very standard balance um, that's, that's it's neither what would be called a dobari or a koto style. We'll get more into that later, but it's very much an all-purpose model. Um, it's, it's um, yeah, it's, that's basically it. There's not a lot to say about it. It's, it's a great um, all-round shinai. And what we also have is the Kendo Star Ultimate All-Purpose Shinai. Now, this is very similar to the Gordi Shinai in terms of construction um, and shape and balance. It's, it's, it's very, very similar. Um, the main thing is, is we use a higher grade of bamboo uh, with the Kendo Star all-purpose model. This is probably our most popular best-selling Shinai right now um, because it is great for all-round use. Um, because it does use that slightly uh, higher grade of bamboo, um, it also um, does have a little bit more care and attention gone into the, uh, the the carving of it, so you do tend to find it has a very very nice balance for a for an all round practice shinai. Um, so that I think is one of the main reasons it is such a very popular model of ours. Okay, so uh, if you're looking for something just for um, everyday all round practice, you want either the Goriki or the KS, the Kendo Star All Purpose Model. We tend to have uh, different deals on these at different times of the year. It depends on what sort of things we can negotiate with our suppliers and stuff like that. So have a look out um, what's what's going on in terms of deals and stuff at the moment as well. And that should help you um, make the right choice in terms of an all purpose Shinai. Now, next, we're gonna look at the Junki model. The Junki is a very, very popular model of ours. This is a Dōbari or Jisen Gata style Shinai. What this means is if we compare this to our, um, our Kendo Star all-purpose model, it's a little bit hard to see, but if we can see, it is slightly fatter here, okay? This is called the door. This area of the Shinai is called the door, and it's slightly fatter, slightly, and it runs to a slightly thinner tip. Now, it's not a super thin tip because the regulations are quite strict 
on how thick this has to be. So these must still pass the regulations, but you have that slightly um, wider door section here. And the reason for that is it offsets the balance of the shinai a little bit more towards the hands. And that makes the tip of the shinai feel very, very light. Okay, so if you like to do lots of repetitive strikes, if you like a very light tip feeling uh, shinai, the junki is a great choice. This is often referred to, as I say, as a jisen gata style. This means that it's very, very popular for shiai. It's very good uh, if you want to use it in competition. Um, the one thing I would say is because the tip of these is shaved a little bit thinner, with this part a little bit wider, they're obviously not as durable as some of the, uh, some of the other models. All right, so this is not the type of model you choose if you want durability. It's what you choose if you want a really, really light feeling tip and a very fast balance. Okay, that's what you want to choose. That's the Junki. Next, we have the Talk on. The Torcon is a fantastic shinai. What's, what's really unique about this Torcon is that it is an oval grip, okay? Now what we have here is instead of the standard uh, round grip, the sides of the grip have been shaved into an oval. And this is much more like the grip uh, that you get with uh, a real sword or a bokdo uh, and helps you make sure that you keep the correct hasuji or the cutting angle, all right? Uh, and and, and it, of course, it feels much more comfortable for many people. Um, it's very much a preference thing. Uh, either you, you, you like it or you don't. My personal preference is I prefer round grips, but my wife, Miyuki, she very much likes oval grips. So it is very much uh, a personal preference thing. And the Torque On is a great choice. It's very, very popular um, as an oval grip shinai. Okay, so if you want something that's got that oval grip, then the Torque On is the model to go for. Next. Another very popular one. This is a, it's a familiar favorite uh, from the Kendo Star line. This is Koren. Koren is very similar to our Junki in that it is a door body, just saying at a style. You can see it's got a very, very wide door here. But what it also has, and you can probably see that um, if I compare it with the, with the Junki, is it has a very thick grip. Can you see how much thicker it is? Can you see that? Okay, so it has a much wider grip. Some people like to have, if you've got very large hands or if you look, just prefer to have a, a larger grip around the Shinai, then the core then is a great choice. And the other great thing about having these large grips is because again, it leaves much of the bamboo in the handle and it's not shaved away. Even more so, that weight balance is emphasized towards the hand, making the tip feel very, very light. Okay, so if you like that very light feeling tip, you like a nice chunky grip on the shinai, it is a round, round grip, it's not oval like the torque on, but if you like that uh, chunky round grip, then the core then is a fantastic choice for you. Okay, it's very, very nice balance, very, very uh, fast feeling shinai with a very uh, chunky, sturdy feeling grip, okay? Um, it's, it's very, very popular um, with many people. Now, similarly to the Koren, we have the Tenma. Tenma also has a very thick grip, as you can probably see. Now, but what's slightly different, I wonder if we can see that in the light. Can we see this in the light? Can you see how it has the edges kind of flattened out? Okay, this is a kind, it's, it's shaved to an octagon shape. Okay, an octagon shape. So it's a large grip shinai again, but this time the shape of it, instead of round, it's, it's octagonal. And the, the, the benefit of that is that it very ergonomically fits in the hand. Okay, these are very, very popular in Japan. Um, I know many high graded senseis that, that really like these octagonal uh, grip. Shinai, uh, because of the comfort that they offer. Um, you also have that benefit um, that you get from an oval grip in that it's, it's much um, more unlikely, it's much, le much less likely, I should probably say, uh, for the Shinai to turn around in your hands. So it's, it's, it's great for that sort of grip comfort. And again, because you've got the weight here in the handle, you've got that nice light feeling tip as well. So again, a great balance with an octagonal Grip. Okay, so if you want that little bit of uh, comfort, shall we say, um, that is what you want to go for. That's called Tenma. Tenma. And its kind of cousin, shall we say, uh, is Hachiman. Hachiman is very similar to the Tenma. The only difference is, uh, it, again, it's octagonal, as you can see, probably. I, I think we can see that in the light. Can you see the ridges on that? Yeah. Um, it's octagonal, but this time the sides, the sides of, of the grip are elongated. So it's an octagonal sort of, oval's not quite the right word, but it's kind of an elongated um, 
uh, octagonal grip. All right? We do call it an octagonal oval grip because it is similar to an oval grip shinai in terms of its uh, uh, feel. So if you like the feel of an oval grip, but you'd like something a little bit larger, a little bit chunkier, and you'd like that ergonomic design of the octagonal grip, then the Hachiman is a great choice. It's a very, very popular shinai. It has been a very popular um, shinai in our range for, for about four or five years now. I think we've had it in the range and it's been a really, really uh, top selling shinai. Um, really great balance. Again, again, we've got that large grip, so it does have that light feeling tip and it really does feel nice. Uh, in terms of balance. So if you want the uh, thick, chunky grip uh, with the octagonal comfort, but you want that oval grip feeling, <clears throat> then the Hachiman is the Shinai to go for. Now, <clears throat> let's talk a little bit about some new Shinai. It's a brand new addition to our line lineup for 2024. I'm particularly excited about this. I've been using uh, the prototype uh, of this model now for about six months and I've absolutely loved it. This is called Ichigeki, Ichigeki. And this is a Koto style shinai, a Koto gata style shinai. Now Koto gata shinai is kind of a little bit different uh, or opposite in a way to a door body style. And instead of having a, a sort of swollen door going to a thin tip, it's a much more unified shape across the shinai. Okay, now if you're familiar with our shinai, we have another shinai uh, that's the Kotogata style called Nichirin To. Now we're going to get to that in a moment, but as you can see, it's got a much more unified shape. However, Ichigeki is a little bit special for a Kotogata shinai. This is a Koto Jisen Gata shinai. Okay, so that's a bit of a, um, <laughs> a new term, <clears throat> uh, which kind of... Uh, it sounds a bit of an oxymoron, right? Uh, how can it be koto and jisen? Well, what it is, is for, although it's koto, this, this part is slightly, slightly wider, and this part is slightly thinner. So what you have is you have the feeling of that sort of, um, sort of jisen style balance, while still the this, this sort of solid, um, kind of uh, impact that you get from a koto style. Uh, in, in other words, what I found after testing many, many koto style shinais, um, especially myself looking at my own kendo, uh, I often um, revert to using koto style shinais when I find that I feel that my, my, uh, my kendo develops the habit of trying to block too much. Trying to, trying to just block with my hands too much, or trying to lift, lift my hands too much. I, I revert to a koto style shinai um, to try to, to let me concentrate more on applying semi with the kensen. Now, after experimenting a lot, I often found that koto style shinais are often very, very tip heavy, uh, and I found them a bit of a labor um, to, to swing uh, and still deliver fast, sharp strikes. Um, but this Shinai really changed that because what it does is, although you've got that solid feeling here, this area of the Shinai, that central balance is a little bit, again, it's just a little bit towards the hands uh, when compared to a sort of traditional Koto style Shinai. So what I have is still get that sort of best of both worlds almost, where I get that solid feeling from my Kensen, I still get solid sharp strikes, I get that um, kind of, um, that kind of weight behind the strikes from the shinai. But at the same time, I'm still able to, I'm still able to wield it quickly. Um, so I absolutely love this. I've been absolutely in love with it since I started using it um, about, as I say, about uh, five or six months ago. And I really do recommend it, especially if um, you're uh, looking at the sort of medium uh, Dan grade level, um, but aren't quite ready to jump into uh, jump into a, a sort of more traditional koto style shinai if you want something that's, um, that is koto style but does have a little bit more of a manageable balance then uh, this is a great, great shinai. It's also great if you want something as a workhorse for your everyday practice for your kirikaisu chikomi because a lot of the meat of the shinai is still left here in the um, monouchi. Okay, so you do get that little bit more uh, durability out of it 
as well. But it is an absolutely lovely Shania to use and uh, you do definitely uh, feel like uh, you're getting solid strikes. I'd recommend it as well if you're... you're um, going through a phase, as we often do, of our strikes being a little bit too, uh, too light. Now, we don't want to bash with Ash and I, of course not, but we don't want it to be kind of ton like this either. So if you need a little bit more solidness um, from your strikes, then uh, trying out a koto shinai, just like the ichigeki, is a great option. So, next, we have the dambu. Dambu is, uh, it's not brand new. We've had this uh, out for about a year now, uh, and it's been extremely popular. Rambu is a smoked shinai. As you can see, it's a darker color. If we compare it to the other shinai, it's a much darker brown color. And this is because it's been smoked. Um, the Rambu itself is a, it's an all-purpose style, so it's, it's very similar in terms of uh, balance and shape to the uh, Kendo style purpose model. Um, and it's great for your everyday practice and your all-round all general use. And why is it smoked, you may ask? Well, it's a good question. <laughs> there is, um, there is a, a belief, and many people subscribe to and find that the smoked shinai, um, by smoking the bamboo, it, it sort of infuses carbon into the shinai and it turns it brown like this and it gives them better durability. Um, some people find that, some people don't find much of a difference. Um, I'll leave that for you to judge. Uh, but uh, another thing that it does have, it does have this lovely brown color which is something um, from, a, from an appearance point of view, it looks kind of nice. Uh, and they have a little bit more rigidity than um, a, a, a sort of unsmoked shinai as well. So if you want it to feel a little bit more solid in terms of your actual striking, um, rather than sort of bendy, which sort of standard bamboo shinai can feel, um, then, then this is a great choice as well. All right, that's the dambu. okay? Uh, super popular uh, and looks super cool as well. Okay, that's the dambu. Now, again, new for 2024, we have the Hibana. Hibana. Hibana is based on our Junki model, so it is a doorbari jissen style shinai. So we have that nice wide uh, door going to a finer tip, making it nice and light and easy to swing. Okay, but as you can see, this has had the smoked treatment. So if you do like the smoked bamboo, if you do like the feel, of those smoked shinai, but you want something that's more like a doorbari or a jisengata, something for shiai, something that's gonna let you swing it and make fast consecutive strikes, then the uh, hibana is a fantastic choice. It is absolutely beautiful. It looks really cool. Look at that. Look at that. Doesn't it look lovely? Doesn't it lovely? Very, very popular with um, many of the top level players in Japan. If you look at um, some of the All Japan Championships videos or uh, top level Shinai videos like that, you'll often see Shinai that look like this. And it really does have a nice balance. So that is the Hibana Shinai, Hibana. Really nice Shinai. And uh, together with the Hibana, we have the Homura. Homura is very, very similar except instead of being uh, based on the uh, Junki, this is based more on the Koren. So again, we've got that door body just in shape, but we've got a thicker grip, okay? So if you want that smoked door body style Shinai with a thick grip, then the Homura is the one to go for, okay? If you like the feel of that smoked bamboo, you want a nice large grip, Easy to, easy to swing, fast hitting shinai, then the homuna is a fantastic choice. Now, let's move on to our Kinjurushi series. The Kinjurushi series came out a couple of years ago and it's been very, very popular. These are premium um, shinai made from very, very nice fine cuts of, of bamboo uh, and they are basically our you know, top range shinai. There's three models in the, uh, in the range. Uh, first, we have Nichirin To, which we spoke about a moment ago. This is another Koto style shinai. So you can see very clearly, the shape of it is very, very unified. It's quite a thick shinai overall, compared to the Ichigeki, which was the other Koto style shinai that's come out just for this year. It's a much, it's, it's, it's a somewhat thicker shinai. I'm not sure if you can see that, but it is, it's a bit thicker overall. Um, as well, and it has a thicker grip. Okay, this has a, a, a nice, thick, chunky grip 
just like the uh, koren, but balance-wise, it is more like um, a koto-style shinai. It is a koto-style shinai. So you've got that more evenly distributed weight. So if you want something that's going to keep you in a nice, solid kamae, keep your kensen forward and deliver solid strikes, then the nichirin do is a fantastic choice, okay? Especially if you want that larger grip. Now, in the next one in the Kinjurushi range is the Shikon. Shikon is like the Junki in that it is a Dōbari Jisengata style Shinai. You can see it is wider here and thinner here. But what it also has is it is a short grip, okay? So some people prefer to have a grip that's a little bit shorter. If you compare it with the Nichirin Do, you can see that the Shikon here and the Nichirin Do here, you can see it is a much, much shorter grip. Okay, so if you like to have the hands a little bit closer together when you're holding the Shinai, then the Shikon is a great choice. Okay, it's a great choice. Now, again, you've got that door body style, so it is nice and fast moving Shinai. These tend to be uh, more popular with a door body style because as you bring the hands closer together, of course, you move the center of balance, all right? Now, it's not that we just put a smaller uh, tsukagawa on the shinai either. It has been properly uh, made with, um, with, with a shorter grip in mind. So as you can see, if we compare it with, with another shinai, you can see as well that the door itself is set further back, all right? So it is, it is balanced properly to be a short grip shinai. So if you like it to be nice and short grip, you want something, again, that hits fast, Shikon is a great and fantastic choice. Last, and by no means least, we have the Kiyomasa. Kiyomasa is our premium Kinjurushi model. It is hand-carved uh, by master artisans. It is an absolutely beautiful, beautiful, uh, premium class Shinai. Um, it's, it's got, a, if anything, it's a sort of door body shape. Overall, it's a very, Chunky shinai, shall we say? <laughs> okay, um, so it really has a, a, a sort of beefy feel to it, um, which which I think gives it a unique quality in itself. It's got an absolutely fantastic, beautiful balance. It really does. It's, it, it, it feels. Uh, I wouldn't say it feels weightless because it's not weightless, but it just feels so effortless to swing. Yeah, so effortless, effortless to swing. And it's made from beautiful premium madake bamboo. Um, obviously, as I say, hand-carved by artisans. If you want something really, really super premium, super, super nice, maybe you even want to uh, give something as a gift to somebody. I actually had um, a set of these made up um, as a gift for a, uh, a, an important sensei to me when he passed his seventh dan exam. And uh, that was... Uh, about two years ago now, um, and he, uh, I saw him actually at the weekend, and he said to me uh, that he was still absolutely loving the shinai that I'd given to him. Uh, I'd given him, uh, I think I gave him three, and um, he'd used one uh, lovingly uh, every practice the whole time, and uh, he'd only just started to use the second from the pack. So. Um, they are a really great shinai if you want it for yourself to treat yourself or if you want something as a really nice gift perhaps for uh, a teacher or a friend who's who's passed a high level grade um, they're a great, great choice for that as well so there we are there is a quick overview of the 2024 lineup of kendo star shinai i hope you found it useful i hope you found um it's informative and hopefully it serves to help you choose the shinai which most suits you. If you have any questions, you can always send them to us at mail at kendostar.com and we'd be happy to help you. Uh, and there we are. Thank you for joining me today. I hope it's useful. See you next time.